What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and today we're going to be going over how to fix a fairly frequent and annoying problem that occurs in Windows 10. When you right-click on some of these items in the taskbar, it will not display any of the associated items that should come up in the pop-up menus. And that's pretty annoying. So I found a fix for it online, and I've done it before. Unfortunately, it still happens to me, but I figured I'd show you guys how to do this. So we're going to do Windows R and then type in PowerShell. Um, once we do that, we need to right-click here and say Run as Administrator. And so we're going to do that. I know that that happens to be the top item. You might not have seen that, but basically I went up to here and got it, you know. And then we're going to come up here and paste this little line. I'll leave this in the description, but it's what this Windows uh, Answers thing suggests, so that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to hit Enter on that. And so that's going to do all of this, and that'll be excellent. Windows PowerShell is always cool to work with and everything, but be careful because there are you know certain things you can do that can really mess your system up. Okay, so now we're going to go into this and look for this particular folder. So um, open up your you know file explorer here. Go to C. Then where is it telling us to go, huh? We'll put this here. Look at this. Now, excellent. Um, so we're going to go to C, users, name, app data. So Luke, app data. This will be a hidden folder, which you'll have to enable view. So in order to do that, let's see how it happens in Windows 10. You go up to view, and then to options, change folder and search options. And then you're going to go to view, and make sure show hidden files and drivers is selected. That way you can actually get into this folder. Alternatively, you can just type it in up here, app data, even if you don't have it hidden, or unhidden, excuse me. And so then we're going to go to local and delete the... Um, tile data layer folder. So we'll just delete it. Excellent. So now I can't delete that, but at this point, everything's back. So maybe you don't even have to do that tile delete thing. Basically, uh, run the Windows PowerShell, no restart required, and then it's done. So I hope this was beneficial to you guys. I mean, it bothers me occasionally, so I kind of just have that uh, little line saved there in a notepad file, and I take it into Windows PowerShell and fix the problem like that. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to help you out. I know that this is a problem that severely irritates me, and you know it definitely helps to have all of these, especially with things like Steam for launching certain games or going to your friends, library, etc. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.